Hi, I'm Steve Kendig. I'm Crutchfield's TV guy, and I'm over here in our warehouse today with Julio and Chad, and we're going to disassemble a Sony TV and show you what the innards look like. This is uh, one of their 900 series uh, LED LCD TVs. Uh, it's a 65 inch. And uh, we do test and repair TVs here at Crutchfield. I'm not sure everyone knows that, but uh, we've got a lot of expertise here. So until a couple of weeks ago, I had never seen the inside of, of a TV. I had no idea what you know, everything did. So it was a real learning experience for me to check this out. Um, we've got several main components here. This is the power board, uh, which powers everything. It takes the AC electricity from the wall, knocks it down to DC, and supplies the mostly low voltages to the devices like the motherboard and, and the other things. The, uh, the LED backlight uh, requires a lot of power. Some of the other boards we've got going on here are, uh, this is the uh, timing controller board that actually controls the pixels themselves, the, the opening and closing of the pixels. So, I mean, when you think about that, this, this is a 4K TV, so it has about 8.3 million pixels. Each, each one of those pixels has three sub-pixels, and so this, this controller handles the timing of the, the opening and the closing of the pixels to form the picture. So that over there is the, the motherboard. And uh, as you can see, there's a couple of really big processors on there. And uh, one of those is the, the main processor for Sony's TVs. I believe it's the X1 on this TV. Very powerful processor, generates a lot of heat. That's why you can't actually see the processor. It's underneath this heat sink. Uh, and here you also see all of the, uh, the inputs, the, the uh, HDMI inputs and the, uh, and the USB inputs, the ethernet jack, all that stuff. And this is the inverter board. And this is what drives the actual backlight. And so on a TV like this, where you've got full array, local dimming backlight, um, there are zones of illumination, and this board controls that, controlling it at very high speeds, uh, at least 60 frames a second. And again, here is your power board. Uh, you can see it's, it's got a pretty beefy amount of uh, capacitors and, and stuff to keep the power flowing. And uh, we just want to remind folks that uh, disassembling this TV, uh, it's broken. We're not going to be putting it back together. But this is absolutely something that just experts should do. This is nothing you should try at home, partly because there's just a lot of parts that are very delicate with the, the cables and everything. But also, these TVs can hold a charge well after you unplug them from the wall. In fact, we'll, we'll get TVs that show up here you know, that have traveled across country and uh, they sometimes still have a pretty hefty charge to them, so you just don't want to mess around with them. This little thing here is the Wi-Fi board and uh, this also contains uh, the Bluetooth receiver. So, uh, you know, if you're doing streaming uh, services with your TV, uh, you want to have good Wi-Fi performance. And this, this includes the, uh, the power for the controller and the, the, the light controller. I don't know if you can see this. It, these controls are pretty small, but there's the um, channel control buttons and the power on button. Anymore, uh, TVs have almost no external controls. You have to do everything with the remote. So these are your stereo speakers, and uh, as you can see, they're pretty small. Um, 
And that's, that's why we really recommend, I mean, unless you're just watching news or maybe reality shows, uh, if you're watching scripted shows, you know, where any attention at all, at all has been paid to the sound, you really should get, have at least a sound bar because TV speakers, not only are they really tiny like this, but they're also, they fire downward and they just do a very poor job at projecting sound toward you. That's that. This is the Wi-Fi antenna. Just gonna reach over here. All right. And this is called a TCON board or timing controller board, and this is what controls the pixels. <coughs> There's a whole lot of screws in these. You can see that they're pretty well put together. I mean, they have to be to, uh, you know, stay together during shipping throughout the country. So what actually looks like just a thin sheet of glass there is actually like a glass sandwich. You have the back glass and then you have the transistor layer with uh, not actually one transistor per pixel but actually one for every sub-pixel. So if there's 8.3 million pixels times three, I mean that's almost 25 million uh, transistors on the transistor layer. Or when they supply voltage, the crystal either turns sideways and acts like a shutter and blocks light, or it opens and lets light through. So you've got the transistor layer and the LCD layer, the, the, the pixel layer. And then you've also got the uh, red, green, and blue color filter layer. And then you've got the front glass. So you've got really the primary guts of the TV display sandwiched in between in a really thin, flexible layer of glass. So now what we're looking at right now is uh, one of the diffuser panels, because um, at the very back you've got your LED backlight, uh, but you need to have uh, diffuser panels to spread the light out really evenly so that you don't have any hot spots on the screen, any areas that are brighter than any others. And uh, this is a 65 inch TV, so it probably has two diffuser layers. Uh, on like a 75 inch, you might have three diffuser layers, because as the screen gets bigger, you have to do more to spread the light out. So this is the second diffuser panel. Mm -hmm. 
So now you can see the LED light array. And uh, this is a 65 inch, so it has 180 LEDs. It, it's gonna vary according to the screen size. For instance, the 75 inch model has 240 LEDs. So now we're down to the back chassis. Uh, this is the LEDs and uh, that's pretty much it. Um, when we get TVs back for repair, a lot of times there may be just either the, the screen is cracked so there's really nothing wrong with, with the guts of it. So uh, we're able to uh, you know, salvage these parts, we keep them on hand and they're available. A customer needs to get his TV repaired, he can send it back to us and we can use these uh, salvaged parts uh, and provide them at a discounted price. There, there are some parts of the TV that, that we uh, send to a local salvage yard, but nothing goes to the landfill. So if you have any uh, questions about TVs, always feel like you can call Crutchfield because uh, we know TVs inside and out. Thanks a lot for watching.